Genes determine how we look and function. Malfunctions or mutations in our genes can cause genetic disorders and birth defects like thalassemia, Down syndrome, and autism. But what if we can find the errors in genes easily so we can correct them to cure these genetic disorders? Hi, I'm Samia. I'm a pediatrician and a scientist working on genomics. My team and I study human genes so that we can understand, diagnose and treat children with these disorders. We look at children who are sick, who have seen multiple doctors, who have undergone multiple tests, but their condition still remains a mystery. We hope to find a cause for their illness because then we can treat them better. Humans have about 20 to 25,000 genes that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle to form what we know as a human genome. But unlike your regular jigsaw puzzle, my team and I do not have a complete picture we can use to piece the puzzle together. The green pieces represent known gene types and their functions. Each of them has a role in the big picture. Then we have the red pieces. They represent genes that are identified and named However, we don't know how they fit in the puzzle yet. Lastly, we have the grey pieces. These are strangers to us. We have not discovered them and so do not know where they fit or what they do. Unfortunately, these unknown genes make up the biggest part of the puzzle at the moment. To be able to cure these genetic disorders, we first need to identify these genes and understand how they function in the human body. To do this, my team and I use a technique called genome sequencing. This technique allows us to read the human genome using blood samples. When we find a mutated gene, we can then isolate it to see if there is a disorder and how it came about. Being able to spot these malfunctioned genes means that we can accurately counsel patients and their families on any genetic disorders. This has big impact on their quality of life. Knowing more about the human genome can allow us to offer personalized treatment for our patients. More and more, as we uncover new and unknown genes, we can understand the big picture. More importantly, understanding the genes and the associated disorders allows us to tackle the genetic errors and find cure for these patients.